Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here and in this episode I'm going to show you how you can create isometric artwork inside of Illustrator in easy steps. So um, as you can see here I've got this web page and uh, it's actually going to be done via an add-on for Illustrator. It's completely free, it's actually on the uh, exchange on the Adobe site. Uh, the links at the bottom of the screen, uh, I will say that there are lots of different ways that you can create isometric artwork inside of Illustrator. You can do it with actions, you can do it with styles, but this is the quickest way that I found for creating isometric style artwork. This will work for, at the, the very least, versions of Illustrator going back to 2014, right up to the current version for this video, which is the 2020 version. And um, if I just go up to the free button up here, as long as you're logged in to um, the website with your Creative Cloud account, you can click on free and then it will add that to your uh, exchange. Uh, and in fact, I can even go to my exchange. So if I click on this link down here, you'll see that I have a series of um, add-ons for this. So I mean, again, all of these I've downloaded from Adobe Exchange, they're all free. And, um, and quite simply then, all that you have to do is just make sure you restart Illustrator. We'll hop in there and I'll show you where to get this panel. So here we are inside of Illustrator. I've got some artwork that's uh, based on uh, kind of isometric style artwork. I've got a couple of pieces to add to this, um, but essentially all that you have to do is go up to the window menu, go down the list to extensions, and that's where you'll find anything that you add from um, in terms of an extension on the, the Adobe website, they'll be listed here once you restart. So Adobe does the hard work for you, puts in the right folders and it, and it adds it in there for you. So if I go across in here, the one I'm going to show you is Nimbling 30 SSR. And it actually opens up as a panel. This is the reason why I think this is so neat because it literally is the one click of a mouse to create isometric artwork. So, um, you can only keep this panel in its current form in here. Yes, like other panels, you can minimize it and collapse it. You can have it in the button mode like this, or you can expand it. That's pretty much all that you can do with this. Um, if I try and go into the corner and try and expand it open, you can't. So the name of the panel's up there, but you won't see it normally unless you hover over and get the tooltip. So let me get to the artwork. Pick up my zoom tool and zoom in down here. I have uh, a couple of box artwork that I need to add in isometric mode. So switch to my selection tool. You can just select any artwork inside of Illustrator. And in this case, just one rectangle. You then choose which side in the isometric view you want to turn this into. So in my case here, it needs to be this one. So the uh, turquoise uh, face in there out of that cube is indicating that when I left click on this, it's going to put it into that isometric angle there for the left side. Now you can use this for groups as well. So if I want to use the right hand side artwork, this is all grouped together. And if I go to this icon down here, click on that, it'll put that into isometric mode. And then the top one, that again is all grouped together. And for this case, you'll have two options for your top sided face. You'll have one that's going to angle it away towards the left hand side and one that's going to angle it away to the right hand side. Well, for me, I want this kind of tape to look like it's going to go from the side and run across towards the left hand side of the top there. So I'm going to go to this one and then click on that and it does that for me. And then it's just a case of assembling the artwork together, snapping it together and then I have my isometric artwork in there. So I'll just nudge that into place just there like so. So for me, I've used lots of different methods over the years. I've used actions, I've used styles. Um, so there we go, folks. That is how you can create uh, isometric artwork nice and simple inside of Illustrator. As always, folks, if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, you want to save time, create great artwork, then we post here every week on a Friday. And uh, until next time, farewell, folks.